I've got a hundred of Lori chasing me. Nowhere to go. All by myself. And then, boom! I'm grabbed by the neck. I can't, I can't breathe. <gasps> sure, just interrupt my story in the rudest, most disgusting way imaginable. That's cool. I honestly forgot you were telling one. Oh, did I ever tell you guys about the time I almost turned a hundred years old? My company was holed up in the trenches at True Haven Pass. I was still assigned to Lights Army then. Medical watch, yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a lie. Absolutely serious. The Rashanians hit the trench with an aging spell. By morning, we're suddenly too tired to fight. We're too infirm. Our brains are muddled. We've got the cataracts. So, anyway, I see myself in a mirror, right? I look like my father! My father was a very unattractive man, Jack. We call him the Turtle. I am not going to age well. So tell me, sir, when did you say to yourself, hey, bigotry, it's not really so bad, is it? I have to make a far call. Are you referring, initiate, to why I think the unforeseen are a curse? Uh, yep. Telenir was a small city in Kalthus. The priests there believed that the Lightless were given some divine role by the Pentasad, and they didn't allow Magni within their walls. Can you imagine? A city without magic? Uh, I'm not an asshole, so yes. <laughs> One day, at some morning prayer, a young girl, in Unforeseen, just exploded with wild magic. She died screaming as spellfire erupted from her body. All of Telenir started burning. And because there were no Magni around, this wild magic went unchecked. The whole city and everyone in it were reduced to ashes. That's all very sad and terrible, sir. But we're not all that little girl. That's not how it happened with me. It could have. There's no protection against your kind. And when you do happen, more often than not, people around you die. Okay, enough of that. My father always said the best way to mend bridges between parties that held wildly divergent opinions was to find a commonality in vice. Drink up, nerds. <laughs> Another. How the fucking bird get in here? Oh, good. You see it too. You. You still have that thing about birds. Birds absolutely do not give a shit about the way their heads look when they walk. I, I would be more fine. Another. Damn it. <laughs> Another. Use your last! Use your last! I know, I know. Another. Oh. Am I dead? It's him, isn't it? Sandrax moving towards the font. Showtime, then. And listen, I may not like what you are, Jack, but I like who you are. That feels really abstract and not entirely okay, but thanks, I think. The Immortals are better because of you. And Lucian may end up surviving because an Unforeseen led the charge. Morning, sir. Unfortunately. It was a good night, sir. I won my retirement fund betting on your skill in beer pong. Wait, you were there? I, I didn't see you. You weren't seeing much by that point, sir. Duty calls, though. 
Come to the docks over in Thaven's Point. We're nearly ready to cast off. All right. <clears throat> See you soon. Does seasickness cancel out hangovers, or is it more of an additive thing? Hardcore. Welcome aboard, immortal. What's our bearing, sir? Can't give you anything precise, Captain, but north by northeast? Five knots. If Sandrak changes course, you'll be the first to know. Something wrong? 
Just the fact that this mission and the war hinges on something that we don't understand at all. We'll catch him, sir. This was built by the Ajma. You sometimes forget that there were great civilizations of such marvelous invention before Aristea. What's up, Jack? So, uh, you went to university, right? I mean, duh, you were just all, this was built by the Ajma, and uh, I've never even heard of them. If there's one thing my father expected of me, it was to treat history like a type of scholastic jambalaya and just continue. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so, you know, I've read a lot of books, and um, I know my numbers and stuff like that. It's just... Uh, I don't think I've ever seen you so insecure, Jack. Is it the upcoming fight? No, no, no. Well, yeah, uh, kind of, maybe. Look, the thing is, Sandrak is super educated. You remember how he called me... In our every meeting, a yipping pup. I remember. Exactly. exactly. In our every meeting, a yipping pup. Uh, you didn't need to do it again. But yeah, that's, you know... I don't want to say something like that to him, right? Like, we're fighting and I'm all, yeah, and you're old. But not like that, obviously. Oh, I see. Uh, an erudite put down. A deeply cutting tit to his tat. If that means what I think it does, then very much yes. Well, let's make one for you. Like you say, Sandrak's very old and he's... A stuffed shirt. <laughs> let's work on it. We'll give it right back to him. In our every meeting, and so and so, blowhard, buffoon, windbag. Who buffoon's gonna hurt? It always does. But something before it. In our every meeting, a what buffoon? Now the old bit. Geriatric, obsolescent, fossil. Oh no, no. fossilized. Obsolescent does feel like a Sandrak word. I mean, he doesn't have a monopoly on it, but it certainly works for our purposes. I think we've got it. Let's test it out. I'm Sandrak. I'm... Wait, wait, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm Sandrak, and I'm bursting with power, and I have that bored patrician look on my face, and I go something like, Fools for certain, there is no mercy, but of my white, hot, and branding make. Shut the fuck up, you obsolescent buffoon! What do you think? Uh, I mean... Just telling him to shut the fuck up is pretty good. He'll absolutely hate it. Huh. Yeah, I guess you would. And you really sell that part of it. Yeah, it feels good. Okay, thanks, Dev. Happy to help. Now, get up to the control room. I'll join you shortly.
stupid. Turn back. There's no reason for your people to lose their lives. You shouldn't underestimate them. They used to be your people too, remember? Sandrax already started binding the font. He'll be unstoppable when he's finished, and there's nothing any of you can do. Yeah, well, I've still got a trick or two up my sleeve. And you could help. You know I won't. Then stop wasting my time. Go! Hold still, Captain. We're here. The font is on the bottom of the sea, and he's holding the waters back. He's draining the font. We gotta go. Now. Go! Devin can steer in my stead. We'll hold off the Rashanians. I'll do what now? <laughs> you are broken and you are bound, the dream of Kilabian. The fault of Aristea was thinking of you as anything more than a tool. He doesn't have any such mark, my dear. What? Stand down, brother. You could rejoice with me. The work is almost done. Or you could just shut the fuck up. Manners. Every moment of your life has existed in the orbit of my own. You cannot describe yourself without mentioning my name. 
I am the sole catalyst for your sense of purpose. There comes a time when any thrall buckles in their chains. But I never put them there. You see me as your enemy because I don't see you at all. A trial. Kirken was lucky to find you. Vision! Fight like a soldier in the dirt, not a magnet. Von Titor. You draw this out for nothing. Kill the immortal. Such power wasted on a new. There is no grace in your magic, no skill. Let me bring this to a close. Do not let him interrupt it. What do you see? Uh, great. I'm back here. The Shrouded Realm. It's just like the Pale Forest. Something about the fonts weakens the barriers between the worlds. Hey, we, uh, we gotta stop meeting like this. Shit! Wait, wait, wait!
Sindara, on your feet. We've got to go now. The sea's collapsing on itself. Let it be your tomb. Or, how about yours? Get in! Dead. He's gotta be. Maybe not dead exactly, but extremely inconvenienced. We lost the binding stone, Jack. Found it. Hey, where's Indara? Already flying back to the Palathon, I suspect. Or searching for some errant Rashanian harriers to pummel so she can work her aggressions out before speaking to Kirken. Wait, what? You're joking. You completely went against orders at the Shrine Forge, Jack. And you hid it from all of us. You made us look like fools. What? No, you mean the control mark? Sandrak's gone. We got the Binding Stone. Devin, we just won the war. Kirkan told you to destroy it, not bring it home. Devin, you cannot be serious right now. Just go, Jack. Kirkan's going to be positively beside herself with anger when she finds out what you did. You need to take this seriously. It will go over very badly. This is the front. The bulk of the Light's army musters there, ready for the big push. I've run through the war games countless times. When Sandrak had the Binding Stone, our chances were slim to none. All these soldiers, when you look at them, Jack, what do you see? <sighs> I, I know you want me to say I see loyalty or, or duty or something like that. All right, that way I can step into some irony or whatever you can use to Look, I know you're using this as some kind of preamble to tell me you're angry with me. I am goddamn furious. I'm sorry. I got to the Shrine Forge, and... and there was a choice I could make. No, there wasn't. There wasn't a choice. Who told you there was a choice? Zendara, you were as field commander. Did you get to the Shrine Forge and say, make it up as you go along? No, sir. Our objective was to figure out a way to destroy the Binding Stone. Then why is it in my war chamber, Commander? I gave no indication that we were to deviate from that objective, sir. So you're telling me that you're unable to control your people? Is that it? Don't yell at her. I did it. Chain of command, Jack. And I'm getting to you. Okay, okay. If I can just say one thing. That right there is unnecessary with that right there. I got us control of the ultimate weapon, and we can roll right now into Rasharn by ourselves and force their surrender without firing a shot. Oh, you've got it all worked out. I didn't realize that. Am I the only one in the room that sees the last 24 hours as an unbelievable victory? I mean, what part of ultimate weapon don't you like? The part where it's a corrupted Aristan artifact, Jack. When we all know Aristean is really just another word for weapons from yesteryear that we are absolutely unprepared for. Maybe you're unprepared. And you aren't? When I found you, the only thing you were prepared for was exploding and taking the rest of Saren with you. The last time I talked with Sandrak, he pulled the same you wouldn't exist without me lecture you are. So you're a little late to the party, sir. You will go back to the Shrine Forge and get the mark you were ordered to in the first place. Can't do it. And then you will come back here and destroy this thing. Oh, no, I'm, I'm being for real. I, I can't. The machine, it... 
Well, it, it broke. Don't fuck with me, Jack. Are you serious right now? I'm not. And I am. All right? And I can control it. Why can't you see that? You can't control it. No one can. What if Sandrak really isn't gone, and he gets it back? What then? It stays here, under lock and key. Take it to the vault. You're making a mistake. Take it to the goddamn vault! Come see me at the scrying hub. Can it wait? I need some time to cool off. Perkin tore me a new one. No, it can't wait, Jack. Come see me right now. Okay, what's the big deal? You two, give us the room. Move! Room, seal and set scrying wards. Remember when Sandrak breached the Palathon that one time? What fun! And afterwards it was up to me to strengthen our security enchantments against Roshanian magic. Yeah? Well, they worked. Who the hell is Luna, Jack? Just stop, Luna. Roshan doesn't have its own colors. How can you even ask me that? What is it? Some kind of spectral projection? The real question is, who are you communicating with? Wait, uh, are you spying on me? Are you spying on us? Is this Luna a Roshanian agent? No! Y yes, she, she, she grew up with me in Saren. She took care of us. Turns out... God, look, it's so messed up, Dev. Luna's... The friend you say is dead, which is very sad, but also very not true, because it turns out she's a Roshanian agent. Worse. She's the hand of Sandrak. Oh, do me a favor. I know, I know. I swear I was going to tell you. You already kind of knew. You noticed me looking at her in one of our briefings. She can hear our mission briefings? No, no. Uh, at least she says she can. And I believe her, because when we mind link or whatever i can't see or hear anything around her either it's not it's a it's a corrupted spell devin not some kind of covert intelligence device thing i, I promise daddy has cast a rasharnian spell that's what you detected so we could walk around in each other's heads and she got in somehow i i didn't say anything because i wasn't sure what to do i thought maybe i could convince her of something i hadn't come up with yet all right it, it's messy but I was never going to let her hurt us. You said she killed Thaddeus. Well, I was never going to let her hurt us after that. Devin, come on. She didn't interfere in the deep mirror. She hasn't come after us since this whole mind fuckery stuff happened. And now that Sandrak's dead, we can... Stop it. Just stop. I think you should leave. Okay. I'll, uh, be in my room. The Palathon. You should leave the Palathon. This is bad, Jack. You're serious. Whatever I decide to tell Kirken, I'll... I'll let you know beforehand.
don't know how to do this. We need to talk. Can you, uh, show up? Hey, kid. Fancy that. I was just about to reach out. Bet you some wires got crossed. Daddyus? Don't get spooked now. I ain't a ghost. Turns out... Something went wrong with your mind walk spell? Hey, now. That spell would have worked just fine if it weren't so rudely imposed upon. Now I keep getting visions of you and that girl and... and... Same here. Well, not with you. This is the first time with you. Well, I guess you just know everything about everything. I didn't know you were alive. I've been telling everybody you were killed. And sorry to disappoint. Sits me better that way, to be honest. I've been getting a little long in the shadow lately, and too many folks are starting to know where I'm getting to it. The hell? Sorry. Rook's on my ass about telling you to get over here. We need to talk about Sandrak. Man alive, would you shut up? finally decided to show. Hey, kid. Sit a spell. Gentlemen, it's good to see you alive, Thaddeus. Uh, how did you... How's her for later? We gotta talk. God damn. You've been to the Shrouded Realm again? Yeah. Every time I'm near a font when it gets absorbed, I just shift over there. Then I see the Pentasod and pow, I'm back. Huh. Pentasod must like ya. It don't normally do that, as a general rule, crossing over as a one-way street. This absorbed font you're talking about, it happened to be where you think you saw Sandrak die? Rhetorical question, kid. It was. That's how Sandrak got himself into the Shrouded Realm. <coughs> uh, do what now? There was likely a tiny hole left there where the font was. A sliver, linger, and a bit between worlds. Probably crawled his mangy ass through it in the nick of time, lucky son of a bitch. Back up. What makes you think Sandrak went to the Shrouded Realm? Because he crawled back out recently. He's close by, too. I can smell him. There's a snuffed out fawn over here in Kelpis. That's where he probably is. Take this. It'll bring you right to him. I figure he'll be weak, convalescing and whatnot. He ain't moved from what we can gather. Pulling himself back, probably about tore him to shreds. Why not use the font that would have taken him to Rasharn? Rasharn's a dangerous place for a tyrant shown weakness. Sandrak has enemies at court. He's smart to avoid him if he can. All right then, round three. Sandrak will have summoned his personal guard to watch over him. You won't be able to avoid him. You know what that means, right? The girl. You'll be there alongside all your unfinished business. Thanks, guys. 
I'd ask you to help, but you would have offered by now. Yeah, I'm still on the mend after getting gut shot by your aforementioned friend. And my kind live in a cave for a reason, kid. Out there, we tend to get killed by folks less enlightened than yourself. But good luck, and make it hurt. Before you leave, kid, hit up that spell altar. It's got something you'll need. deal with this spell it's a ward breaker something tells me you'll need it to get close to sandrak guess i'll give this spell a try until next time fellas not right now jack Devin, please this is going to sound crazy but you have to listen to me I just spoke with Thaddeus. You're right about the crazy. Listen, Sandrak's alive. Hurt, but alive. You need to lock the vault down tight. Put the whole palathon on alert. I'm on my way. I can't let you face him alone. No, if I fail here, Sandrak will come for the Binding Stone. You have to be there to stop him. Answer or show up or come on. You know, if you can hear me, you know I'm coming. You know what I have to do. I'm begging you. Don't try to stop me. You gotta find Sandrak.
Sodatish. Ordlet said Leomi. Are you sure sending them away is a good idea? You can't talk me out of this. No one here needs to die. Mm, but they really do, though. Let him live, and we'll pull our forces from the front. You have the Binding Stone. You've won the war. He'll see that. He listens to my counsel. Sandrak's not the warmonger your Grand Magnus makes him out to be. He won't let Roshanians fight a battle we can't win. Listen to yourself. Have you completely forgotten? He's been trying to conquer the world since we were kids? Kirkin drove him to that. He used to be one of you. I don't care. I'm asking you to care. To make it stop here. You've handed her the Binding Stone, the control of all magic. And she's still going to invade Rashan just to make an example of us. Both of our people will die for no reason at all. One of us has to be the first side to quit. Our people, huh? Grow up. We can change how this works, Jack. The war, all of it. Right here. You and I. We can get them to listen. Remind them that the real goal is healing the wound. Children. Uh, uh, Stop! To me, Ulian Zuchi, when a lord she's a chum, a sherata delianar, no a shasa. Surrender is for Lucius. Where are you, Thradako? Leave it. Come home to the front. They need to see their leader alive, and with them as the Lucians approach. They need help- I won't take the advice of someone whose loyalty is so obviously divided. <laughs> the Binding Stone's too far for that to work, genius. I'm not bringing it to me. I'm bringing myself to it. Ah. The Parathon Vault, of course. No! Wait! This will give them hope. Well, shit. Oh, this shit! Uh. Oh. Uh. oh! Come on! Devin! Sandrax inside the Palathon. You've got to raise the alarm. What? That's not possible. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, dear what? Portal's opening all over. Nightblade's inbound. I'm coming. Find Devin. Here they come.
the hell is this happening? Sandrak pulled himself to the Binding Stone somehow. The Binding Stone you didn't destroy. Yeah, that one. Thanks. Brilliant. I couldn't stop him. It came out of nowhere. Captain, rally our people and secure the upper floors. And if you... If you see it starting to turn, signal all hands for an evacuation. Flyers, crafts, and drop skiffs. This is Captain Selko. Sandrak is heading to the path. Kirkin's intercepting, but I won't make it in time. The font On it, sir. Devin, lock this area down until backup arrives. Hell I will. If Sandrak absorbs the font, the Palafon goes into free fall. You can't help, Devin. I've got the mark. It's the only thing that stands a chance against him right now. Glad to have you back. More coming in! the line here. Understood. Good luck. Kirkin, sir, this is Jack. I'm closing in on your location. You copy. Damn it.
It won't be a court-martial, Sandrak. It will be incineration. I highly encourage you to think about this. How could you? Generations of Roshanians unable to produce Magnite. Good. Agreed at the Conclave of Gulhad. To hell with Gulhad. All Gulhad did was pretend the Everwar was polite. You've crippled them, Kirk. You've single-handedly damaged Roshan society beyond repair. Their culture, all their lives to come. My people! You've served the Immortals for 30 years. You've warred against Roshan the whole time. You don't get to decide when they're your people, and when they're really your people. I will go to Lavery. I will expose this abominable operation and your role. The king endorsed this operation. He was also the one that insisted it be kept from you until its success was verified. I will tell them. The consuls of Lucia, the world... ...will kill you first. Now, now. This will be a liberation. They've squandered your power on this place. This cheap theater. I think we're past that trick now, don't you? Ugh! This place is alive, Sandrak. You'll kill her and everyone aboard the Palathon if you absorb that font. I'll carry their memories with me. But winning at all costs requires a resilience to sin. You told me that. No! Wait! Even the Pentasad has reason to fear me now. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Dead! 
Damn What did you do? I won. Just run, Jack. It's okay. No! Don't! I'm alive. Just hold on, Jack. Oh, what is that smell? Oh, seriously, it's like something died in here. It's Saren. You've just forgotten how much it reeks. You saved me. That's what friends are for, right? You're finally looking better. What's that? Sandrak won, Jack. Do you remember that? A little while after the Palathon fell, these... These shackles just appeared on the arms of every Magnus on Avium. They block our access to the Ley Lines. Magic. Sandrak controls all of it. The war's over. Well, not all Magni have lost their power. The loyal ones out there still have their sigils. Not so much for fugitives like me. Rashanians have occupied the city? Every city, as far as I can tell. There are some holdouts. Glavegate, a few of the Claylish Isles. But their magic is gone too. They won't last. This is my fault. All of it. I'm so sorry. You dream of it all the time. Of your friend, Devon. I experience it through you. Our mind link still works despite these. That's how I saw them save you. Capture you. A bit of both. Bashan needed Magni, though, so I went from prisoner to war college pretty fast. And that's all it took for you? To renounce Lucium and everything? Free tuition? One, don't ever knock free tuition. Two, I renounced Lucium when I found out why Rashan desperately needed Magni. How awfully Lucium and Kirkin have treated their enemies. You and your friends pretty much worked for the bad guys, Jack. Oh, and Sandrak's not king of the world. Bat shit insane. Look, I don't care. Did any of the others make it? I don't know. I barely caught you in time. I need some air. You won't like what's out there. Aren't you afraid one of them will recognize you? Not outside of the uniform. Rashan's really enjoying this. This isn't Rashan. This is the Morbane. The who? Sandrak's Butcher. These are his soldiers. Not even part of the army, really. Just a pack of wild dogs. Sandrak's punishing Saren because of me. So these holdouts you mentioned. Gladegate still resisting Sandrak and Kalthus. That's interesting. My friend, uh, my field commander, Zandara, she's Kalthusian royalty. If she survived the Palathon, she'll have fallen back to Gladegate. If I could get there. Big if. There he is, the Morbane. Saren, these. Whispers of rebellion, they make your children weep. Accept anguish, internalize it. That prisoner with him. You'll be more Their lights at on me. peace. Hiding these fugitives in the Lucian army, we all know 
it hurts them worse in the end. Sandrak's not the warmonger you make him out to be, huh? Remember saying that to me? I can't take in much more of this. I gotta get out of here. I think a big patrol goes by up ahead. Let's stop here for a bit. Sandrak did have a plan, you know. It was sound, actionable, and in the end, the world would have benefited from the war we were waging. You sound like Kirkin. Don't ever compare me to her. Look, I can't justify what Sandrak's doing now. He's lost his fucking mind. But there was an honor in him that your Grand Magnus could never even pretend to have. I know you saw a different side to her. And probably only- You keep dancing around something you obviously want to tell me about Kirkin. So just do it. Out in the open? Sure, why not? Rashan hasn't produced a Magnus in ten years, Jack. Magic doesn't take to our people anymore. What does that have to do with Kirkin? She's the one that sent the immortals that did it. They infiltrated their way to the Hang Isles, poisoned the ley lines across the skies of Rashan. All of our children have been born lightless ever since. Wait, what? I is it permanent? We don't know. No one's been able to lift the curse, not even Sandrak with the Binding Stone. Without new magic coming in, Rashan's culture and traditions are dying. You understand the horror of it, right? Our entire identity is fading away. I don't know what to tell you. This is wartime, Luna. One that never ends. You don't get to decide what's the line and what's crossing it. Are you crazy? You absolutely get to decide. Why do you think Kirken keeps it a secret? Even from her order, the connection our magical bloodlines have with the ley lines is gone. Wiped out. Sterilized. So that's why Rasharn kidnaps Magni from other countries? Who are the bad guys again? In a few years' time, Rashan would have been unable to defend itself in the Everwar. So Sandrak took shortcuts to end it. I'll say. Just thought you should know how we really got to this point. Are we done here? I don't know, are we? What made you decide to bring us to Saren? Because you're heavy. I knew I wouldn't have flight for long and Saren was close. Anyway, we grew up here. More than half of that time hiding from someone or another that meant us harm. Figured we could use that to our advantage. The Morbane, though, he's something I didn't count on. It's strange being here. It really is, huh? The whole time I served in the Light's Army, I never came back. A lot of bad memories. Bad smells. <laughs> the worst. I was out for a month, huh? What else did I miss? News from the outside world? It's rare. I only learned about Glavegate because I overheard the Rashanians talking about it. What about the front? No such thing. The Lucian lines fell back, dissolved. Lots of Light's army hiding along the coasts of Kaile now. Oh, a few of the Sky Clans of Oromen put up a fight, until Sandrak threatened to pull the magic out from under their floating islands. So essentially, it all sucks. Oh, gets better. There have been whispers about the Pentasad lately. That something's wrong with it. Wrong how? I don't know. It's hard to tell from here. Any way we can get a message to my friend at Glavegate? Farcall stones are dead, couriers only work for Sandrak, and Kalthus is on the other side of the womb. So there's a chance. After the Palathon, Sandrak immediately cut off communications across Avium. The first step to total control is enforcing silence. And I'm the... In Never mind. What's wrong? As the Hand, I ran counter-surveillance for the Order of Masks, cataloging enemy command networks to find out where they were most vulnerable. He used what I built for him. I can't take that part back. You were fighting a war, Luna. That's how you do it. What made you go rogue and save me from the Palathon? Seriously? You told me. The next time we see each other, one of us is going to kill the other. Just saying. That turned out different. Sandrak was... He was changing. It became less about fixing wrongs done to Rashan and more about just hurting everyone. About domination. That's not what I signed up for. 
Oh. Thought it might be because we were best friends. Look, the cave in Kalthus? There was a moment there where you hesitated. Where you heard me. We can change how this works, Jack. The war, the wound, all of it. Right. We had a chance at peace. Kirken and Sandrick were just in the way. You saw that. Of course I was going to save you. I'm done. Let's go. Great. I'll take care of it. Novitas the Lee, Magnosar. And Zunanen, Numichin, Nuzerdatin, Yodomu. Boye Rashar. Hey! Tukas, Okasar me ilen. Leave her alone. We're just going home. Zelentas, et uses to metasam. Stare at the ground. Just do what they say. Achillesi de sam. Cesara yesti de domo. Cesau zesem duraicha yenea. could have destroyed it. The Binding Stone. I, I had the chance and didn't take it. Now... Now this. You did what you thought was right. That's a hard thing to do, you know? Most people avoid conviction. I got him killed. Then take attention to Zevet! It was mine! Let me go! I listened to the kid. Jack! Wait! I can't take it. Your arm! Holy shit. How did you do that? The mark must still be tied to the Binding Stone. So, it can undo its magic. We need sigils. Shit! Come on! We'll take the lift! What are we... The safe house is the other way! I stash our gear someplace else. It's close. Good. When word of that fight gets out, things are gonna pop off. Word got out. You know, I just realized I never said thanks for saving my life. Now it's in danger again. Go you. Holy shit! It's... home! What's left of it? Our armor, sigils, they're all in there. Five years. And no one's even bothered to rebuild the place. Love what you've done with the place. Where's the stash? That's the stuff. Don't laugh. <laughs> what are you doing? Seeing if I can fly it's yet. It's not working. You don't say. My connection to the ley lines is still pretty shit. It'll get there. In the meantime, I guess we take the elevator to topside. They've got it locked down with wards. I know how to break them, though. Let's split up. I'll get to the elevator controls, take out the guards there, we meet back up, and... And get the fuck up on out of here. It's a plan. Hey, wait. I, uh... I held on to this for you. You kept this? Why? Why do you think? Hold on to it. You know, in case we don't see each other again.
I'm almost at the elevator. I deactivated the wards. Hold tight. I'll be there soon. Immortal. Oh, the Morbane. Thought you'd show. Sendrick thought you might return here. Gutterets prefer a familiar nest. Where's the traitor? I kill you both, I can finally leave this shithole and have it all thrown into the wound. There's no. Remembered how to fly. I mean. Jack, you need to see this. 
That's new and awful. It's causing the wound to spread faster now. Sandrax summoned so much magic up from the shrouded realm that it's boiling over. It's too concentrated to hold. Especially if you're also keeping everyone else's magic in check. I know he doesn't see this as his fault. He's probably just offended by it. As if the Pentasod was denying him some final lordship. I can buy us some time. I gave everybody their magic back. You did not. I did it for us. What's the difference? A uh, scale? You're earnestly being humble, and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Let's find a portal to take us to Glavegate. Meet up with Zendara and whoever else is there. I'm not going to Glavegate. What? No, don't worry about Zendara. I'll explain how you're on our side now, in a conversation I'm honestly not feeling 100% about right now. But I'm not. Not really. I'm done, Jack. I've turned against my own people. I can't go back to Rashan. Lucium is no longer my home. I'm just... done fighting for either of them. Come on. Don't leave me again. Help me. I told myself that I'd go when you were on the mend. Well, just disappoint yourself and don't do that. I'm sorry. I just... I can't bring myself to fight him. You have to, Luna. The wound is spreading. We don't know how much longer we have. We don't need to. My best friend's going to stop it. I need to get to Gladegate and find Zendara. <laughs> 